Today on Max Handy Gadgets, we're cooking frozen chicken leg quarters. Let me tell you something, they're big ones. And we're going to be cooking three of these in our Instant Pot using the air fryer function. So let's get started. Yeah, before we start cooking our frozen chicken quarters, we're going to have to make a rope. And these are frozen. Solid. <laughs> okay. Okay, make sure you pat your chicken dry. You know, I did it already on the other side, so there you go. Okay, let's make our rub here. We got a half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one and a half tablespoons of your favorite Italian seasonings, half a teaspoon of thyme, one teaspoon of parsley flakes, one teaspoon of smoked paprika. Yeah, now we just give that a little stir. Now we're going to make sure our chicken's dry. And it, and it is pretty dry, so we're good. It's froze though, solid. So you can put some oil on if you want. Just a light coat. And now we're going to put on our dry spices. Just like that. And we'll rub them in. We'll flip it over and we'll do that side. We'll rub it in good. Okay. That looks good. Okay, we'll put that one aside. And we'll get another one. Now I did pat these dry so we can just go ahead and spritz them with a little bit of oil. And we can rub our seasonings on. This is going to make it taste really good. Okay, we'll do the other side. Okay. We'll see how we did here. Put a little more on top. Okay, that looks good. Now we'll put this one aside. We'll get our other one. Spritz it with a little bit of oil. Rub that around a little. Put our seasonings on. Rub them in. Okay, let's do the other side. Yeah, this is going to make it taste really good. You're, you're probably going to like these. It smells good already with just the spices and all these good seasonings. Okay. Okay, that looks good. Now we'll put that aside. And all we have to do is get ready to air fry. Yeah, before we start air frying, I just thought I'd show you just how big those chicken leg quarters are. I mean, they're huge. You see them? And they look really good. They're going to be tasty. And we can't use the normal basket on our air fryer because these guys are just too big. Only one will fit down the bottom. So we're going to use our dehydrator rack to air fry them in our Instant Pot. So let's get started. Okay, now we're going to use our dehydrator rack here. Yeah, we'll probably just use three racks. So let's get the bottom one down here. All right. And we'll probably just go ahead and put one of our pieces of chicken right down there on that. Let's try the uh, this one here. That fit pretty good. Now we'll go ahead and put the rack, next level one, just like that, there you go. Now we'll go ahead and put another piece there. Let's turn it a little bit, okay. And now we'll put the top rack on, 
Just like that, that's good. Now we're gonna put another piece on top. So there we go. We got three really big chicken leg quarters right there. And I'll give you a better view of that. Yep, now all we have to do is set up our Instant Pot and start air frying. That sounds good. Okay, we're just going to spritz our pot here with a little bit of oil. Then we're going to put in our three monstrous chicken leg quarters. And they should fit right in there. There you go. And now all we have to do is put our lid on, our air fryer lid. Just like that. Now all we have to do is set our pot. Yeah, normally we would cook our chicken leg quarters about 25 minutes to 30 minutes. But since these are particularly extra large, we're going to have to add 10, I think, to that figure. Plus they're frozen. We're going to add another 10. So I figure about 45 minutes. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to hit air fry. And we're going to go up to 45 minutes. And we're going to leave it at the 390. And we're going to hit start. So there you go. Well, when the Instant Pot's done preheating, I'll bring you back and uh, I'll show you the cook time. Okay, the Instant Pot air fryer is done preheating here. We have 45 minutes on the clock at 390 degrees Fahrenheit. So that sounds good. I'll see you in 45 minutes. Or almost 45. Yeah, you know what it's time for now, don't you? Something cold to drink. That sounds good. Okay, looks like we got 10 seconds left on the clock there. 8, 7, 6, and our chicken leg quarters are going to be done. And they're done. So we just hit cancel. And now all we have to do is take a look at them. I bet you they are good because it really smells good in the kitchen here. Okay, let's take a look. Wow, they look good. Man, is that sizzling. You can hear it in there. Okay, let's go ahead and get them out of there. Okay. Boy, they look good. Now all we have to do is plate them up. Yeah, the dehydrator rack here seemed to work really good. Now all we have to do is get them off there. Let's put this aside. All right, let's see if they... Yeah, they come off. All right, we got one. Let's get the rack out of the way. Yeah, it didn't stick on there too bad. Pretty good. Okay, let's get this one off. Okay, we got two. Now let's get this rack out of our way. And let's see. We got three. Oh, there you go. Look at the size of them chicken leg quarters. Yeah, let's see if we can arrange these a little better. Put that one that way. There you go. Yeah, look at the size of those chicken leg quarters. Boy, are they tasty looking or what? Yep, they're good looking and they smell even better. But let's find out how they taste. We just got to get into a little piece. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at the juice running out of there. Can you see it? I wish you could see that because it's so ju juicy and moist. Yeah, let's have a taste. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is really tasty and moist. I wish I could bring the camera right down there and show you, but it is really moist. And done all the way to the bone. Yep, done definitely all the way to the bone. Yep, they're going to love this one. That air fryer method of the, the really thick, big 
chicken leg quarters is really the way to go. Uh, 45 minutes at 390 degrees uh, on high there. You know, it's pretty high temperature, 390. But it worked out really good. The 45 minutes was the key because these were frozen. And uh, we put them in froze. And boy, are they, they're tasty. That's all I got to say. You're going to love these. You know, I did have a glass of wine here. You know, I did. Oh, you know what? I drank that already. That's normal. Mmm, good.